Hello boys, it's your boy Drop a Legend here. Today it is uh, today I'm going to show you guys my new game plans and my new tactics for Elite Division. As you guys can see, we are in the Elite Division. We've got 1,900 skill rating, so not an easy feat to do. And yeah, that's my rating so far. And uh, I'll show you guys my team. We have made some huge uh, upgrades as well to, this, to the squad. As it flows right here, this is the team we're currently using. It's a very good team, in my opinion. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments down below how it, how you rate it. Uh, we got Shule, we managed to complete his SPC. Um, very good in the back, just class in the back right now. Um, we got the plus two upgrade. Yes, I think it was yesterday he got it because they beat um, Barcelona by three goals to nil. Ninety rated. Look at the pace, man. Look at his, look at look at his stats, like. Apart from jumping, everything is just, it's just maxed out, you know, everything is maxed out and one thing I like about him, he's aggressive, you know, he's very aggressive. We've got Untradeable Crossman, who we got in our Division Rivals Milestone Rewards, uh, very good in the back. We just brought in Cuckoo and uh, Mukaveli into the squad right now. Uh, Mukaveli, very good uh, right back, more defensively. In Cuckoo though, we paid 1,000, um, 1,000, well, a hundred, uh, one, one, a hundred eighty k, hundred thirty eight k. Okay, that's how we got him for. Um, very good midfielder, does the job. Very agile as well. I like two midfielders, De Bruyne, Sonado. Who we still got. If you guys know, I love Song. He's really good. Um, Keen, Mane, and Cornet on the bench. So let me get, get let me show you guys the custom tactics that I've been using the Visual Rivals. And yeah, we got these four phases right here. Just ignore the balance one, that's just the one I go into the game. And then obviously, I switch to this one right here the 4 4 2 brackets 2. Uh, I like this for me a lot. Uh, defensive style is on balance 40 width, 65 depth, um, balance for transcreating and build up play, balance with players in the box is on. Five corners on one because of the corner glitch and free kiss on two. This is how to team out. Um, both strikers are on stay central and nothing else. The wingers come back on defense, stay wide against the extra boss. You're gonna see why I had them on stay wide for a mid. Um, the boy now is on concern deceptions, cover center, and everything's on balance. In Cuckoo, he's on um, stay back and cover center, nothing else. The goalkeeper's on sweeper keeper. Now, for the fullbacks, you have him on stable attacking, concerning deception, so that means they don't go charging in easily. But we have the um, we have them on inverted, so whilst Mares and Mar uh, Mares and Marne are on stay wide, the two full the two um, fullbacks they will try and get inside or make um runs on the inside so the, it will give something it will give my opponent something to think about so I have to run both of them and it's been working well for me so far now the for me to not go to when I'm losing or feel like nothing's happening we go to the 4 triple 2 I like this for instance as well we go and press on processing loss uh, 50 width, 80 depth long ball for build up play chance creating on direct passing which is very nice because it really pins your uh, your opponent's defensive line really back, so I recommend trying that. 50 width. This one is now on six, I believe. Yep, six. Yeah, six. Trying to see that for well. Um, corners are on two. Same thing for three kicks. Now, this has the team out. We still have these two on stay central. And uh, attacking mids to have an on get to the exit of the box, get to the box for the cross. The Bruins on cover center balance, and then Cuckoo's still on stable attacking and cover center. The Bruins on cover center as well, and the full backs we have them now on overlap. So balance attack overlap because I want to try and push more players up front to overwhelm my opponents. And the keepers on cover crosses and sweeper keeper. This race right here, the three five two. This is what I go to when hope is running out and we just need a goal. So we whap, so we just pretty much put on constant presser, 50 width, 80 depth, uh, fast build up play, 
Uh, Charles Crane is on four runs. 50 with. This one's on eight. Quarters and three kicks it on four. So we're just gambling at this point. We're just hoping for a goal. And if we get counter, we get counter because we have to go for it. Strikers on game behind. Cameras on stay forward. The wingers, they're both on game behind and getting to post for the cross. Uh, these two, this is, this is the difference now. Um, the Boyna and the Kuko are both on cover center and balance for everything. So, yeah. And now for the center backs, they were attacking and we have this instruction on step up. So, we're pretty much trying to get closer to our attack as much as possible. And yeah, if he beats out press, then so be it. You know, he deserves to score. And for the keeper, come for cross his sweeper keeper. And now the formation I go into uh, when I'm trying to see our game in a very tough game right now. In a very tough game. Um, I just switch to the 4-3-3 three, three, brackets 3. It's probably the best formation to use to close our game. Um, defensive style is on balance. You guys notice that we don't go and drop back because we're just inviting too much pressure. So we have it on balance so we can press reasonably but at the same time just trying to stay compact the whip is on 50 the tip is on 30 long ball for build up play uh chance crease is on balance and uh, the whip is on 60 i want to be try try and be wide so when i get the ball half um, players um on the half players up wide so am i able to try and time waste a little bit players in the boxes are on three corners and three kits are on one and now for the instructions, both wingers are on comeback on the fence, stay wide and come short. So if I'm looking for an option, they can also, I can just click on the R1 button and I'll call the player to come short. Striker, stay central. Uh, my center mid is on stable attack and cover center. We're just literally trying to hold at the result at this point. We're just trying to close the game down, trying to close up shop. CDMs. Cut, cut past the lane, stay back, take and cover center. For the fullbacks, stay back. Uh, conserve deceptions again, try not to get caught on the counter. And avoid and avoid them from lunging in too easily. I feel like with no deceptions, they do that anyways, but conserve deceptions really helps them out a little bit. Stable attacking for both center backs. And uh, for the keeper, come for crosses and sweeper keeper. Just in case they're trying to play that. Um, lob through ball. We've got Neuer, he can actually come for cross and then just, yeah, just do the rest, really. <clears throat> so that is it. So that is my new game plans for Elite Defending and for Champions as well. Uh, comment down below um, if you use my tactics. Let me know how well it works for you. And until then, take care. And we're going to be live streaming um, for Champs hopefully tomorrow on Twitch, I'll leave a link to that. Take care and goodbye.